Hey guys, Tammy Trier, TrierWilderness.com with my all grown up mountain boy. I guess I can't call him a mountain boy anymore. He's now 21. Can you believe it? This week he turned 21. I don't like that. <laughs> we are, <laughs> how about it? How's it feel to be 21? Not much different. <laughs> Not much different? No. No. But one of the cool things is you can still go for a snow walk with your mom, right? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> that makes me a big kid too, you know. Come on, dogs. Here comes Lila Lou. Oh, hey. Mrs. just jumped up and grabbed the phone. <laughs> Okay, I probably just gave you guys whiplash on that one, and hopefully you could see the dogs here. I'll, I don't know. I can't spin it around, can I? Nope, not once I'm recording, so I'm going to spin it around. Let's see, hopefully you can see everybody. There's the old man up there. It's just beautiful out here when it snows. We haven't really gotten a whole lot of snow um, up until this point, and they said today at noon it was supposed to start snowing, and we're supposed to get four inches of snow. So they were a little wrong. It started at 1130 and I'm so excited. I love snow and I've been trying not to wish for it this year because the guys need to work in it and get out in it. So I've been trying not to wish and pray for it like I normally do. So I'm usually the one that's doing the snow dance, right? Yeah. <laughs> Has this not been a highlight always out here, us getting out for a good snow walk? Yeah. Yeah. It's nice good. one snow like this rather than going through it with snowshoes though. Yeah, well that's because you, that's because you gotta blaze a trail. It's just more work. <laughs> and you end up falling on your butt sometimes. Only if the dogs land on both shoes at the same time. Or if you try to go over a log. This is true, we've both <laughs> had that happen. Stay down, missus. <laughs> Wrong. Yeah, your foot end up, ends up sinking down in a hole, then you end up jarring your hips or something. That does happen on occasion because you don't know what's underneath the three, four feet of snow. Come on, dogs. Come on. Come on, dogs. Right now, the mountain man and mountain Ben are up in the mountains bobcat trapping and I'm really grateful for all you guys that have been joining him on his journey it's really cool and I'm really excited for him this year and I'm praying for an awesome year for him uh, we're in a unique spot uh, and and God just continues to bless us greatly and I feel that we are going to be tremendously blessed this year and I have a great piece about the way things are going and maybe we'll share some more about that with you as we go down the road in during this winter season but this is just fun being able to get out with your kids and make you know memories and we've had so many awesome memories from out here how about it yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> did he slide on the ice uh, they're all just running around I'm gonna um, it just gets wild. This is why the mountain boy and I go out for walks every day because there are four of these guys in the house and when they get this rambunctious, it gets a little crazy. I try to keep my house intact. So this way, they get out, get some exercise, go back in by the warm fire and sleep the rest of the afternoon instead of playing and beating up our house. How about it? Yeah. My tree is actually on a stand this year. Well, I'll show you at the end of the video. I'll put some pictures in of our Christmas tree. And uh, I was asked to do a video on our tree, so maybe we'll do that too. It's simple. It's plain and simple, but it's our style. It's pretty and just a neat year. We went out Sunday, eh, oh yeah, Sunday, and got the tree with a friend of ours joined us. It was, what is that? Oh, the hounds. Someone might be out hound hunting. No. Oh, yeah. C cats. Cats might be in right now. Okay. Do a lot of hound hunting out here. Fortunately, we haven't gotten involved in that yet, but we'd like to. We have a couple friends that do it. But uh, they're logging around us right now, so I thought maybe there was something going on with the logging crew. But 
Lila, come. Come on, girl. Come on, Lila. But we thought we would just bring you along for this walk today. It's just pretty when you can go out and just, I don't know. Lila, come. <laughs> Almost. I would have laughed. I know. Like the camera would have went upside down. I'm sure my face was just pretty hysterical. We'll have to watch the <laughs> watch this and see. I think my mouth got really big and my eyes did too. <laughs> Thought I was going down. All right. Anyway, always entertaining. But we just thought we'd bring you along. This has just been something that he and I have done. Lila, come. Come on, Lila. Oh, there she is. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, Lila. Ooh. This dog is five months old, and she is just insanely growing like a weed. So she's in training. Good, good dog. There's the old man. And Bowser, mountain boy's dog. Copper's up ahead. It's good to have good dogs out in the homestead and when you're out hiking and stuff. Um, the old man typically has a bell on anymore because he can't hear. So it gets interesting keeping track of him. Yeah, we should have put the bell on. <laughs> yeah, well, we Keep didn't. Keep forgetting about that. We aren't going to go super far today with them logging anyway. It sounded like they were pretty getting pretty close. The other night, the mountain boy and I went out to the post office, and we saw over 40 elk. That was pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That was cool. Yeah. It's just neat when we're out like this, though. We see all kinds of things. He and I want to get up in the mountains and do some shed hunting and look for some winter kills and get out. But it's just neat and the mountain man and mountain Ben get to see neat things while they're out trapping. I'm sure it's really pretty up on the mountain today and always have good stories to tell. But it's neat when you can create these memory making moments with your family and your children. You know, we got out here when he was 13, just about 13, and have been doing this ever since. Just love getting out. Our walks together are priceless. It gives us a good opportunity to talk and talk about just about anything. How about it? Yeah. It creates a good bond. The outdoors always creates a good bond. But it's just a great place to be, regardless where you are. I mean, we are blessed to be in northern Idaho, but no matter where you're at, there's always parks and trails and trailheads and places to go, backyards, <laughs> just spend time together, take time to enjoy, you know, what's around you and that time with your children. That's one thing I'm going to greatly miss when he's gone yeah. and creates his own family, but I'll be really happy for him at the same time. So anyway, just thought we'd take you along on this little venture Look out. <laughs> There's Copper. You can see the mountains over there. Yeah, I know. It's really... It's really crazy. Really beautiful. <laughs> I think they're right this time for a change. They usually predict snow and we get nothing, but they're calling for four inches today, so kind of woohooing. But anyway, we'll jump off of here and uh, wish you a good day, and we'll catch you on another one real soon. God bless. God bless.